is God. I want you to turn to the person next to you and just shake their hands. Don't just shake their hands, but speak to them. It is great to be sitting next to you. I see the honor of God over your life. I see double honor over your life. And I declare to the person that's you that in 2019 you shall walk in double honor. Now, now take your time and declare. It's a declaration. Bible says you shall decree a thing, it shall be established. So I want you to have faith in what you are declaring. Amen. Amen. I want you to look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor. as you enter into 2019, I see you walk in double honor. I declare unto you that in 2019, double honor is your portion. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We are getting there. We are not there yet, but we are getting there. Amen. Amen. The Bible says in the book of John, chapter number 8, reading from verse number 54. Said Jesus answered, If I honor myself, my honor is nothing. Amen. If I honor myself, my honor is nothing. It is my father that honoreth me. Amen. Of whom we say that he is your God. Amen. 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 Are you with me tonight? Yes. Amen. Amen. So, this is Jesus speaking. Amen. Once I see spoken, twice have I heard that all power belongs to Christ. Amen. So Jesus is saying that no man can honor himself or herself except the honor that we receive of the Father. And not just of the Father, but he is also your God. In other words, he is my God and he is your God. Amen. Amen. He is our God. So, who is he that honors? Amen. Amen. Now, I, I want to build this up. Amen. Amen. I want to build this up. I won't take much of your time. So, if Jesus is telling us that if he won us, even though he is God himself, but did not consider it robbery to be God, he said that if I honor myself, then my honor is useless. In other words, no man can honor himself. How many of us remember the cash for honors scandal? They try to honor themselves by giving bribery to be elevated into a place of significance or a place of power. Amen. But Jesus is saying that that kind of honor is nothing. It's useless. It is the Father who honors it. So we must establish the premise that our honor does not come from man nor from a woman, but our honor comes from the Lord. Amen. So in 2019, if we will walk in double honor, it is not the honor that we receive from our pastor. It is not the honor that we receive from our first lady. It is not our honor that we receive from our bosses nor our colleagues or our husbands nor wives. But we must first and foremost seek that honor from God because it is God who honoreth. When man honor you, man can also dishonor you. Amen. Amen. 
When a man honors you, he can also dishonor you. But if God honors you, no man can dishonor you. Amen. 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 Joash was eight years when he began to rule in Israel. God honored him and the elders of Israel could not take him out of the throne. Because it is not man who put him there, but the Lord. When the Lord decides to honor you, it does not matter your age, qualification, or pedigree. When he chooses to honor you, you might be in Lord Deba, but chariots from the king's palace will come looking for you. So if we must walk in honor, then we must seek the honor that comes from the Lord. Now I want you to lock that in your spirit. Amen. Amen. The source of all honor is God. I want you to also establish that in your spirit. The source of all honor is God. Because of his position as the sovereign creator of all of his character as a loving father has bestowed honor on his son, Jesus Christ. So Jesus is saying that it is Christ, my father, who honors me. And he is also your God. So if God honors Jesus, then God can also honor you. Amen. If God honors Jesus, then God can also honor you. It is not only for Jesus, but also, if he is our God, and if he honors Jesus, and he is our God, then God also honors you, and honors me. Are you following with me? Yes. In John chapter number 5, reading from verse number 23, that all men should honor the Son, that who? All men should honor the Son, even as they honor the Father, in other words, you cannot say you honor God and not honor Jesus. Amen. Amen. Even as they honor the Father, he that honoreth not the Son, honoreth not the Father, which sent me. Amen. That all men, all men, men in general, Women included. That all men and women should honor the son even as they honor the father. This is what the Amplified Version puts it. So that all we give honor, reverence, so many to the son just as they give honor to the father. In fact, the one who does not honor the son does not honor the father who sends me. So, I said that Jesus said that no man can honor himself. And we have established that the source of all honor is God. And if God honors Jesus, then it is transferred from Jesus unto man. Amen. Amen. If honor comes to Jesus, then we automatically become the recipient of honor. Yes. Psalm chapter number 8. Amen. Amen. Psalm chapter number 8, verse number 3. When I see 
and consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have established. Amen. Now, this is very interesting. So when the psalmist begin to imagine the creation, man is nowhere near creation. Man is nowhere near to be desired. Say, but when I look at the galaxy, when I look at the skies, when I look at the sun, the moon and the stars, we don't want to go into it, but the sun, the moon are far away from us. As little as we see on earth here, it is so huge, uncomparable to man in magnificence. Amen. But say, when I look at all of this, the great works of your hands, verse number four, what is man that you are mindful of him? In other words, even the angels are jealous of you. Amen. Amen. So when I look at the galaxy, all the beauty, all the all the the, the billions and billions of the stars, and yet they don't collide over one another. The sun bright when they meet you and goes down when they must go down. There is no confusion with creation. But man is so confused. Today we are women. Tomorrow we are men. Next week we don't know who we are. They say some people are gender queer. They call themselves gender queer. They don't want to be called male or female. So they are gender queer. They don't know whether they wear skirt or trousers. <laughs> Amen. Amen. But the son is not confused. So now they say that when I consider all of this, your creation, your created thing, what is man? In other words, his same manners at low the bar, below the bar. But irrespective of man being below the bar, he says that you are mindful. In other words, your, your, your eyes are on man. Amen. Your thoughts are on man. Amen. You, 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 you have man on your mind. Amen. Amen. What is man that you are mindful of him? The son of man that you visit him. Not only you visit him, verse number five, but you also crown him with glory and honor. And I want to talk to you about glory and honor. Anytime you see glory, there is honor attached to it. Amen. Anytime you see glory, there is also an honor. And from the word that we get honor from comes from the word glory. So out of glory, we get honor. Amen. So in Psalm chapter number 8 and in Hebrews, as we will go through the, the word today, you see that glory and honor are used interchangeably. And when you see glory, there is also an honor. Amen. Amen. So I want you to also lock that in your spirit. Though man cannot be compared with the moon and the stars, but the stars are not crowned with glory. Neither are the stars crowned with honor. Because God is the source of all honor, and God has honored his son Jesus Christ, and we are the created image of God. 
the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So the honor the Father has given to the Son, that honor is transferred unto you and to me. So in Psalm chapter number 8, verse number 5, we are crowned with glory and honor. And I've come to declare unto somebody that as you get ready to enter into 2019, you are crowned with glory and honor. You will walk in double honor. Men will honor you. Why? Because God has already honored you. Who can dishonor whom God has honored? And the honor of God is upon your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Lord kept you all this while. There are so many challenges and troubles you experienced this year, 2018. Hey, but you are not entering 2019 with those challenges and the struggle. As you enter into the year 2019, you are entering in double honor. In the mighty name of Jesus, you might not look honorable. Hey, you might not look honorable like Jabez. Bible say in 1 Corinthians chapter number 4 verse number 9 that Jabez was more honorable than his brothers and yet because of the circumstance of his birth, his mother named him Jabez because he gave birth to him in pain and for that matter it became a dishonoring figure over his life that wherever Jabez went he was called pain. People were running away from you. I don't know, maybe in 2018, men had run away from you. People that you, you thought that they would help you. The moment they see your phone call, they turn their phone off or they, they, they put it into voicemail. They decline their call. When you went to their house, they said, if they refuse to answer my call, I will go and to their house. You went and you rang the bell and they peep and they saw it is you and they refused to open the door to you. You were you carried a degree of honor, but wherever you went, it was people dishonored you. It's like nobody will give you access. But as you get ready to enter into 2019, whoever dishonored you, whoever refused your call, in fact, they will be calling for you in the mighty name of Jesus because there is an honor on your life. Beloved, you see, honor is connected to titles and authority and positions. Hallelujah. Amen. Honor is connected to title, positions, and office, authority. So all members of parliamentarians are called honorable. Ambassadors and high commissioners, their excellency, honorable, so so and so. But have you seen any cleaner being called honorable? Amen. Amen. But from today, men will call you honorable. Amen. It does not matter the office you occupy. The Lord will elevate you because of the double honor over your life. The Lord will elevate you and promote you. Even as we pray that in 2019, you will see uncommon promotions in this church. The Lord will promote the people, his people, into a place of double honor in the mighty name of Jesus. When your position limited you to be honorable, the Lord will lift you up and raise you up. The men will rise to call you honorable in the mighty name of Jesus. If you believe it, say, I receive it. Now stay with me. Stay with me. Honor is usually used to describe how people within society evaluate one another. Amen. In, in, our, in our Great Britain here, sometimes depending on how honorable you are, determine where you sit in a gathering. Amen. Amen. That is, we, we use honor to evaluate people in our society. In the Old Testament, most occurrence of honor are translated with kabod, which means glory. 
So wherever in the Old Testament, wherever you see glory, it is honor. Kabod. The honor of God. Amen. Amen. The honor of God. And to honor in the New Testament is to revere, venerate. And it is usually used for human beings. Amen. Amen. So it is God that honors man. And with the word honor also comes glory. Wait. Doza. Wait. Heavy. High in respect and power. Amen. So in the Old Testament, where the word honor from Kabul is used, it denotes weight. So in 2019, the Lord will give some of you weight. Hallelujah. It is not weight in excess of fat. Amen. It is weight in excess of power and authority. Amen. Heaviness. That is when the word, when the word glory is used for God. A denote of his might, his power, his glory. So in Genesis chapter number 31, the children of Laban were complaining that Jacob has taken all his father's glory, which also translates as honor. And when they talk of their glory and honor, it, they, they refer to the cattle and the sheep that he had. His wealth. Amen. 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 Are you following with me? So, the Lord in 2019 bringing us into a double honor year means that you will be worthy Amen. Amen. in the matters of the economy we will carry some weight. Hallelujah. In the matters of finances we are prayed that there will be transference of weight to us. We will carry weight. You see, when you are you have no weight, when people are talking, you can't talk. Amen. Amen. We will be healthy. Healthy in the embodiment of the might of God over our lives. Amen. Are you with me? Yes. And in the same way, in John chapter number 5, verse number 41, I receive not honor from men. Amen. Amen. I receive not honor from men. But that is the King James translation. I say that in the word honor comes glory. The King James will always use honor for glory. Amen. In, 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 the, in the Amplified Version, it says that I do not receive glory or approval from men. That same glory is translated in the King James as honor. Amen. So you see, the Lord says that, Jesus himself said that, he does not honor himself, but the honor that comes from God. And John is saying that, our honor or glory does not come from man. Because when man gives you honor, man can also dishonor you. It comes from God. And honor and glory are intertwined. Amen. Amen. And the Lord, in his infinite wisdom and power, has decided to allow us to walk in the cupboard of his glory and of his honor and of his power. The weightiness 
goodness of God, he has transferred unto us by the Son and unto us. And I want you to turn to your neighbor and say, you are crowned with glory and honor. And in 2019, your honor will be made manifest. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Now in 1 Chronicles chapter number 4, verse number 9. And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. And his mother called his name Jabez, saying, Because I bore him in sorrow. And Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that thou would bless me indeed, and enlarge my coast, and that thy hand might be with me, and that thou would keep me from evil, that it might not grieve me. And God granted him which he requested. Verse number 10. Amen. Amen. There is a, this is a typical case study. Where many of us are honorable and yet there is no weight to our lives. Jabez was honorable. Bible says, in fact, among all of his brethren, and yet there was no weight. What do you do with honor with no weight? What do you do with honor with no heaviness? So even though he was more honorable than his brothers, he, they accorded him no respect, no, no honor. Why? Because he was in pain. He became a radical. He said he calls himself honorable. He thinks he's bigger than us. Everybody is calling him honorable, honorable, yet he can't even pay his bills. He can't put fuel in his car. In fact, he hasn't even got any car. Amen. And yet, nobody calls us honorable. We are the ones driving the Mercedes. The Bentleys, the Rolls Royce, living in the Porsche apartments. We are the ones all people are coming to us for help. And let him sit there in his pain. But Bible says, until something rose up in his spirit, that he began to cry out and say, I, I must manifest my name. Amen. This is not what my name suggests. I am supposed to be honorable. I am supposed to carry some weight. I am supposed to be heavy. But I see no heaviness around me. I see no weight around me. Until he began to cry and call on the God of Elohim. The God Almighty. Say, no, 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 God. This enough of this. I don't want to be pain any longer. I want to be honorable as my name suggests. I don't want to continue to live in pain. Enlarge my cause. In other words, give me some weight. Give me some weight. Expand my borders. Let me take territories. If you have no weight, you can't take territories. Amen. If you have no weight, you can't take territory. Say, give me territory. Give me some weight. And the Bible says, and the Lord answered him. And his request was granted. Amen. 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 Second Peter chapter number one, verse number 17. For when he was invested with honor 
the radiance of Shekinah glory from God the Father. Set a voice as this calls to him from the splendid majestic glory in the bright cloud that overshadowed him saying, this is my son, my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. And this is the glory and the honor that is transferred from Christ to man. In Hebrews 2 verse number 7, verse number 6. But one has testified somewhere in scriptures saying, what is man? Referencing Psalm chapter number 8 verse number 5. Cross-referencing Psalm chapter number 8 verse number 5. What is man that that are mindful from you say that that is in the Old Testament the psalm, but this is what the New Testament Paul is writing to the people in the Hebrews. Praise God. He says that what is man? It is written somewhere in scriptures, saying what is man. So now we have come from the glory of the Father, where the honor overshadows so much that the Shakana glory is activated or invoked. Are you following with me? And it is this honor that is now transferred to man that today we can walk in a double honor. Say, what is man in Hebrews 2 says? That you are mindful of him or the son of man that you graciously care for him. You have made him for a little while lower in status than the angels. You have crowned him with glory and honor and have set him over the west of your hands. We see the honor from the son is transferred to the to you and to me. So in Romans chapter number 13, verse number 6, so that we give honor to all those whom honor is due. And today the Lord brought me here to tell you that you are due an honor. Amen. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In 1 Timothy chapter number 1 verse number 17. Now to the king of the ages eternal, immortal, invincible, the only wise God, be honor glory forever and ever and in this same power that he has translated and transferred this glory unto man what is man that you are mindful of him that you crown him with glory and with honor and let the elders that who well be counted worthy of double honor, especially they who labor in the word and in doctrine. Shall we be outstanding? You've got a few minutes, few minutes to enter into 2019. Bible says that you give honor to whom honor is due. And I believe tonight the Lord is bringing you into double honor because you are due honor. Never again will you look at like honor and not be honorable. But you say, and Jabez pray tonight within the next two minutes, I want you to lift up a prayer. He said, he prayed and said, no, enough of this. I am not going to walk in this any longer. Lord, expand my territory. Give me some weight. Some of you tonight, all you have to pray is, Lord, give me some weight.
give me some weight. I don't want to enter into 2019 with that, with no weight, with no heaviness. I want to be heavy. I want to be weighty. I want to be mighty in the name of Jesus. That was the best prayer. And the Lord heard him. Beloved, the Lord is here tonight. If you lift up your voice and pray, the Lord will hear you in the name of Jesus. Will you lift up your voice and begin to pray? Say, Father, as I get ready to enter into 2019, give me some weight in the mighty name of Jesus. I have heard your word that it is you who honors. Honor me tonight in the name of Jesus with double honor, with your glory and with your power. In the name of Jesus, church, I can't hear you. Will you lift up your voice and pray for the next two minutes? Will you pray, Papa, Papa, as never before? In the name of Jesus, as a man, as a woman who desire your Papa, Papa, who is do some glory and who must walk into some glory, beloved, I am Papa, Papa. There is some honor you must be. There is some seat you must occupy in 2019. There is some seat you must sit on in the mighty name of Jesus. There is some office you must enter. There is some doors you must access. Hey, but it takes the honorable hey, to enter into honorable places in the mighty name of Jesus. We are praying that in 2019, no protocol will stop you. Hey, because of the honor of God over your life, in the mighty name of Jesus, will you lift up your voice and pray and say, I am Papa Papa. Hey, no unfinished business will enter with you into 2019 in the mighty name of Jesus. For the Lord will honor you. The Lord will give you honor in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, beloved, will you pray for the next one minute? For the next one minute. Say, Father, expand my borders. Give me some weight. Give me some heaviness. Hey, I am Papa. Grant me access in the name of Jesus. 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 As I get ready to usher into 2019, Father, give me some weight. I am entering in double honor. With double honor. In the mighty name of Jesus. I receive the honor. That comes from the Lord. I receive the honor. That comes from Elohim. I receive the honor. That comes from the Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I decree that in 2019, I shall walk in humility. For the Bible declares that our before humility is honor. In the mighty name of Jesus. Pray for the next 30 seconds. Will you continue to pray? Will you enter 2018, 2019 with prayer? Hey, La Papa, for the seventh prayer of the righteous, I call it flash. It has power in it right now. In the name of Jesus, it has power in it right now. In the name of Jesus, Kawaya Papa. Hey, my dear Lord. We all going to come down from 10 seconds to usher in into 2019. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.
love that is excessively reckless love that he has brought us into 2019. Praise God. Shall we be outstanding as we do our declaration? And I want you to be bold, amen, you see, and declare, amen, amen. And declarations are powerful. They do work, praise God. Believe with your might and with your heart that as you speak it, the Lord will bring a manifestation. Amen. Amen. So you say after me, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ, the possessor of the heaven and the earth, the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, I thank the Lord God Almighty for the for bringing me into the year 2019. With my mouth I confess and with my heart I believe. 2019 is my year of double honor. The Lord will honor me. The Lord will honor me. The Lord will honor me. Double for my troubles. I boldly declare in 2019 I shall be honored in the name of Jesus. In 2019, my honor will not be obscure. I publicly declare in 2019, the Lord will honor all of my endeavors. My family shall be honored. My marriage is honorable. In 2019, my business will be honored. In the name of Jesus, I confess and declare 2019 as my year of double honor. In the mighty name of Jesus, I boldly declare in 2019, I will give honor to whom honor is due. And I will receive honor from God, the source of all honor. And receive honor from men. In the name of Jesus, I believe, according to the word of the Lord, I am crowned with honor. I publicly confess in 2019, my honor will not fade. I declare in 2019 as my year of double honor. I publicly confess I will walk in honor in the name of Jesus. I publicly declare in 2019 my Lord will fall in pleasant places in the mighty name of Jesus. I boldly confess 2019 as my year of double honor. The Lord will honor my going. The Lord will honor my coming. Institutions will honor me. Systems will honor me. Even my enemies will honor me. According to the word of the Lord, if a man ways pleases the Lord, he even makes his enemies live in peace with him. I declare in 2019, there shall be no enemies. My enemies will live in peace with me. In the mighty name of Jesus, I boldly confess in 2019, I shall rest, I shall rest on all sides in the mighty name of Jesus because the Lord has chosen to double honor me in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, according to the eternal Elohim, the Lord will honor my enterprise in the name of Jesus. Men and women will honor me in the mighty name of Jesus. I publicly confess in 2019 as my year of double honor in the mighty name of Jesus. Whosoever will make themselves an enemy will honor me in the name of Jesus. In 2019, I will possess the gate of my enemies in the name of Jesus. I publicly confess in 2019, I will rule in the midst of my enemies in the mighty name of Jesus. I boldly confess 
and declare that 2019 is my year of uncommon honor in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree in 2019 I shall be anointed, my horn shall be exalted like that of the unicorn. My head will run over with the anointing of the Lord and I will be double honor in the mighty name of Jesus. I will walk in double honor in the mighty name of Jesus. If you believe, you say, I receive it. I receive it. In Jesus' mighty name. Jesus mighty name. Somebody begin to, come, de begin to establish this declaration. Amen. Just establish it. Bible says that you shall decree a thing and it shall be established. Bible also says in Numbers chapter number 14, say, as I have heard you say, so will I do it. Even as you have confessed that the year is your double honor, that you shall rule in the midst of your enemies. Hey, that you shall possess the gate of your enemies, that you shall have rest on every side, so shall it be in the name of Jesus, by the word of your confession and the word of your testimony. May we look unto the eternal Elohim to bring a divine manifestation for his word in your life, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Somebody put your hands together for the Lord. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen.